All right, what's up, everyone? Empowered Qs here, bringing you some more League of Legends action. We are playing against a Kled in the top lane, kind of a an AIDS matchup, if you ask me. I don't like the Kled matchup. He just could be really tilty to play against. This is huge if I could get him off, Scarl. Nice, cool. Let's back it up. So the key is getting him off Scarl. If I could hit level two before him, I might be able to all in him. Um, let's get my Q off here. I want to get my jump E animation. So I want to keep my Conqueror up. At the very start, he takes quite a while to... I think I got him. Bitch! So I flash to guarantee the stun. Hit the ignite. Happy day. Get out of here, clad. <laughs> Sweet. Got the TP out. I'm gonna go back. Um, I'm gonna probably go Doran's Blade to get myself some combat stats and a control ward. Perfect. Nice stuff. So the key to this matchup is you have to dodge out his bear uh, trap. So that's his Q when he shoots that out. Because uh, once you do that, it's really easy to utilize your E properly. Uh, Kled's W is like four quick hits in succession that do extra damage. Um, so you want to negate all that damage. And your E can do that. So you just got to outplay that. And after that, it's pretty easy to kill him. Uh, whittle him down. Once he's off Scarl, it's pretty easy to go for the all in. So this wave is going to obviously push out to me when you look at it. Obviously lots more minions on his side. So I'm just going to let it do that. Get my level 3. I'm going to want to get some vision here pretty soon. If you don't know the way that Conqueror works either, it kind of works like Grasp of the Undying. It takes 4 seconds of combat, and then your next auto attack procs the extra damage. So I'll be back. Really weird backing time, because now we can set up a freeze. So in order to set up a freeze, you need four. You need four minions. So we have a little too much right now. So, so we're gonna walk out of range a little bit here. So we're gonna trim this a little bit. Miss another minion. So there's our four minions right here, right outside tower. So we could just hold on to this. Nice, and start building up a nice little CS lead if we don't miss. All of our freaking CS. Nice. So we missed that. Oh, he gets that nice little speed up. So we missed that. Oh, get out of the bear trap. I'll oh, get attacked again. Get him off Scarl. Perfect. So I can look to do that same trade as I did earlier. As soon as my jump is up, make sure my conqueror is up. Got our potions ticking. Nice. We gotta be careful though, because we don't have vision. Got it, cool. So, we set up that freeze, right here. And he has to fight us in the long lane. We could get that really good trade in at the beginning. Get him off Scarl, jump, stun him out. Happy day. So this wave is going to crash into tower, get us a nice little advantage here. So 31 to 18, good stuff. Um, I'm probably actually going to get a Tiamat first. He's going to do the same thing, um, well at least most uh, Kleds do. So he's going to have really good wave clear, so I want to match his wave clear. The next thing I'm probably going to buy is a Ninja Tabby. Uh, really effective against Kled because 99% of his damage is that for quick in succession auto attacks. Um, so if that prevents a lot of that damage there. I can always start building into my phage. The extra health component is going to be really helpful as well. So we got a couple different options, but uh, the movement speed, the defense of Tabby, all that good jazz is going to be super, super helpful. So this wave is going to push out to us, even minion wave on each side. So don't need to worry about that. Mm, I think I'm going to maintain lane priority, so I should be okay. Watch out for the bear trap. Back it up. Surprise. 
Nice. We see a Moo Moo down over there. Get a little quick poke in there. So as soon as our counter strikes back up, well, get him right off the uh, scar right there. So we can look to do that same thing. We can jump, counter, ignite. Big juicy play going on bottom. Hopefully that doesn't go too poorly. So we know the uh, make sure my conqueror is active. Um, start building up attack speed. Push this wave in. Probably gonna look to dive here. So if you don't know, Jax, whenever he auto attacks, he gets stacked. So as soon as we're up to eight, we want to jump in. His six is useless. Nice, simple. So since he's off Scar, we could just push him right into uh, the tower. Nurse him down. We were auto attacking minions, so our conquer was up. Good stuff. I don't know how that bot play came out. Well, he's ahead, so seems like it's pretty good. I wonder if I could get this tower. Gotta be careful, because he can... There's the teleport. That's what I was curious about, and he could use his ultimate just to jump right on top of us, so we do not want to let him do that. So back it up. Back it up. Alright, so I'm probably gonna... Wow. Good stuff. I'll grab my ninja tabby right here, and another control ward. Head it back to lane. So this is going to make it even harder for him to do damage against us, even though we're so far ahead already. No, I think he did. Yeah. Mm, Amumu doesn't have any mana, but... Uh... Interesting. If he sticks around... I'll take that. Oh, I want to prevent that dragon. Don't want them to get that stiff. What is he doing? What? Wow, I swear this isn't bronze. Believe it or not, this is not bronze. What's that? Okay. Surprise. <laughs> uh, can I get the 6 and 0 dream? Might be a surrender at 15, anyways. But I still think this is a good video to show you guys on how to properly do the Clay matchup. Uh, I also went a little bit more defensive -y stats just because Clay can do an obscene yeah. amount of damage, but. Still want aggro with the ignite. I just wanted the early health at the beginning. So. Nice. Um, don't want to let him back for free. Cool. Just going to shove this lane in and then I can look to make a play. Or he's going to stay. Cool. Let's start popping my potions. Not worried about that. Pop my potions. Oh my goodness. Almost had him. Wanted to stay in that uh, little wave right there. So he's going to look to uh, probably stun me under tower. So my ignite's going to be up. Start getting my attack speed up. I'm dead. Oh! Woo! 40 health. 40 health. I thought I could get my stun off him on time. <laughs> Open. Uh, 6 and 0. Oh, 6 and 0. Oh, what up? They're so bad. Um, I mean, I'm just gonna sell my con. No, there's no reason to because I'm not buying anything big. I'm like, I could just sell my control ward, but. I wouldn't normally condone selling a control ward, but this is clearly over. 
So, but like I said, I think it's a good video on showing you guys how to fight against Kled. You have to dodge his Q, and then your E can negate all the damage. I like to guarantee to make sure that he's going to go for the four hits. So as soon as he hits one, I tend to hit my E. Um, might not necessarily be the best way to go, but I think it works because no matter what, then the the extra procs go on cooldown because once he hits once, that's it. And then you have like a 10 second window to fight him when he doesn't have that. So, whereas if you hit your E too early, you might not necessarily use it. And I like to guarantee that he does so I can uh, create an opening to fight him. Man, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I really thought this fight was gonna be AIDS. Normally, I hate fighting against Kled. But not too bad. This Kled is awful. He also didn't take Conqueror, which I think is a mistake. I'm not convinced that this Kled knows what he's doing, but like I said, I think it's still relevant good information. Back it up, he probably has ultimate. <laughs> So my Conqueror is up, so I do a bajillion damage. So I don't know what he was thinking. I mean, is this Soraka that stupid? Is she that stupid? Yes, she is. If I had my E up, I'd be a little bit more confident in that fight. Let's see. Whoop! Idiot. <laughs> so I just had to run away long enough to wait for my E. And then he did. He did. Sell this. Don't need it. Get the extra health. I'm gonna go Titanic next. Extra health will be nice. Nine and oh, he's bad. He's bad. This Varus is really bad. A whole lot of bad. Yikes. Definitely also gonna go Rage Blade if it somehow magically gets that far, which it really should not. Okay. G G. Kind of want to go get Shelly so we can have the dance in Shelly. Always a favorite. Wow. The smashing. Good game, boys. Well then. It's not every day I get to have all the lanes win. <laughs> my conquerors up, coming to the tower. Nice. Ooh, that tower's not dead. Ah, minion block, get me out! <laughs> Kill Vade! Well, this was fun. Wow. I'll say, not my perfect game. Nine, zero, and three. Ah, is that my auto attack? You do the rest of the work. Victory at 16. All right. Well, then.
Jax, the carnivorous killer. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, I'll give it to the Vade, because I always love an ADC that doesn't suck. One of my personal favorites. <laughs> S plus, S plus, S, S. Everybody wins! Excellent stuff. Just check out the damage, probably. Oh, number one damage. That's because I have to kill Scarl and Kled. I have to kill two people in top lane. Jesus. Well, I hope you guys liked that one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good jazz. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you want to learn some more Jax action and once in a while some other champions, I am Twitch streaming. Information for that inside the description. Um, but yeah, I definitely hope you guys enjoyed that one. Tune in next time. Peace.